Hello and welcome back to UK Highland Photography here on YouTube, the channel dedicated to helping you to become a better photographer. Okay guys, basically today I want to share a technique with you which I had to employ yesterday. Sooner or later you're going to be out and about, you're going to be taking your photographs and then all of a sudden somebody's going to ask you to take a photograph, okay? Don't ask me why, but some people just ask you to take photographs of them. And naturally, as a photographer, you want to do a good job. Now, this is the thing. Sometimes you will take the photographs and the photographs will not turn out the way you want them to be, which can make you look like a not-so-good photographer. But what you've got to do with these kind of scenarios is that you've got to remember that it's these scenarios that help build your experience as a photographer. Now, I want to show you an example of what happened yesterday. So yesterday, I was out about in Manchester, as you can see here, taking photographs. Now, what had happened was I seen these skateboarders, and these skateboarders came over and they asked me if I'd take some photographs. And naturally, I started to take some photographs. Now, the photographs weren't coming out the way that I wanted them to come out, i.e., they weren't coming out professional looking. And the reason why was because the guys in the shade, I'm shooting on a tele-zoom lens, which, you know, if you shoot a tele-zoom lens, you need a high shutter speed. Shade and high shutter speeds don't really mix together. So I'm ending up just getting this, what appears to be a bland looking image. Now, the thing is, when I got home yesterday, because I'd been shooting in raw format, I was able to turn this bland looking image here and turn it into a pretend HDR. And now that means that it looks like more like this. And as you can see, the colors and now a lot more popping of the actual subject. So let me just show you the difference. If you do this, this is the normal, and this is the HDR. Normal, HDR. Again, this is a pretend HDR image, but it's nonetheless, it works very well. So basically, this has saved my face as a photographer and basically shows people that I'm a little bit more professional than what I, than what they may think I am, okay? So basically, I'm going to show you how you do it. We use a software here called Photomatics, okay? You can buy Photomatics on the internet, and it's simple. All you do is you go to File, you go to Open, and then you select the raw file it is that you want to turn into a pretend HDR. And quite simply, it will do it for you. Now, how, how Photomatics works is it simply overexposes the raw format and then underexposes the raw form format and just blends them together. Now, as you can see here, it is now created this pretend HDR photograph for me. So all you do now is you go to File, Save As, and hey presto, you have got a fake HDR image, which in my case can help you out of some sticky situations if you find yourself to be in them. Okay guys, thank you for tuning back in, and remember to subscribe to the channel and when you get the time, visit online shop over at www.ukhighland.com.